Welcome back guys, it's Soonthorn and as you can tell from the title, this is the Max Attack versus the Queen Charge. I'm sure some of you have you have watched that long video of the showcase of the the fake showcase of um I don't know about 15 to 20 max attacks in one war and you know there was, it was a whitewash on them bases them weird bases however obviously taking note that all those attacks were pre-done already yeah god knows how many times like 50 times pre-done already um, fair enough they didn't know where the Teslas were but who knows they, they might have even had spies in the other clan and they, they already got they know where all the Teslas the traps are we don't know because that's the kind of way they play um, win before winning as you put it uh, but nevertheless it is a okay attack good attack if you've got decent heroes it will work on a lot of bases but it will also be a little bit of a gamble if you run into certain things like air traps air skellies um, and you your heroes go a bit AWOL rather than go into the core properly we're gonna watch Williams attack first he attacked this after I've attacked it I attacked it on um, the first attack on the base and wiped it with a queen charge I'll show you that after but this is Williams attack and um, all the bases were wiped so he just went for the top one to try and see if this attack worked on this base he's already used this attack before and he's been very successful with it I'm pretty sure I showed it in a war recap recently so he is not a novice to it let's put it like that and he's a pretty good attacker and this was a very very good attack the so first up he drops the loons get rid of that cannon so that he can then drop the golem closer to the other golem and create that funnel because if that golem went to the cannon as well then it was a chance he was going to lose it forever so slowly creating the crack funnel drop the earthquake dropped it quite nicely um, bigger hole coming in then going in to the center part which is good so the queen's a little bit delayed but she's in range now and she's shooting the storage but what can you do that's another thing I don't like going in to attacks like this too much because it's getting messy it's not clean don't know what's going on under all that the loons can be dropping on those golems and the king but that's fine he's, he's got the got the heal they've got the rage and he's breaking through he didn't get the king there um, he didn't get the core but it's still going okay because the golem's still tanking now the queen will die to a wizard tower unfortunately now he's got at this point he's got two air defenses uh, two sets of skelly traps all firing on them golems not the golem so the hound uh, so that they're gonna die pretty quick if they were a little bit more spread the air defense then he would have had a better chance I mean the loon drop is good he should have dropped these uh, loons up here for the wizard tower sooner he saw that afterwards and then dropped it but obviously if you are one of those guys that showcase this attack 15 attacks um, you would have known to drop the loons there how the queen would have reacted once it got in there and ergo wipe the base make it look easy so he's got plenty of loons but he's just run out of hounds it would it would have wiped it he would have wiped it he just had one rage even would have wiped it unfortunately he didn't and he's gonna quit the attack and leave it there but good attempt very good attempt just you, you can see how it's it can be strong but it can also fall because of a couple of factors of air defense being closed skellies 
been set to air and air traps. Not that he, I didn't see many seeking air missiles, air mines missiles. Um, so unfortunate there. So this is my version. It was the first attack on the base, and you're going to see the differences. Clean. So queen goes down. Watch how I placed the queen so that both archers were shooting at us straight away, which meant I can then drop my minions and wizards to start funneling a lot quicker. All this getting funneled for when I drop the kill squad up top, so I don't waste any time. Get straight in there. Right, soon Queen's gonna go in now because she's got a massive funnel. She will go in, and as soon as that cat mortar's down, this is the bit. So, as soon as I heard the clan castle come out, drop the golem, drop the two wizards, drop the jump, drop the poison, set the ability, and wait for the golem to come round. Drop the king, drop the rage. Now that was the hardest part of the attack. Now it's a little bit more calmer now. And then now it's about the waiting game. I'm perfectly fine, the queen, nothing can kill the queen. I'm just waiting and waiting, trying to get closer to the core. I've got some loons coming from the back of the heroes. They're going to come into the core as well and start taking out some uh, defenses, trigger some giant bombs, not that giant bombs matter. And now is the time that I'd start dropping in just a few hogs to the point defenses on the back. Some giants as well to tank. And I've still got six wizards and a minion in the bag, which I drop now. So all all this side is taken care of so I just dropped some wizards down here to just finish the base off. So still got a couple of hogs up quite a few hogs up considering and look what I mean about clean my heroes are gonna be full health at the end of this attack full health now that's the difference of a queen charge and a max attack. Thank you for watching.